So today I'm going to show you how to set up your Audio 4 Plus or Audio 4C with uh, some different applications. Um, we're looking specifically at Multitracks Playback and Loop Community's Prime Apps as these guys work very similarly and are commonly set up very similarly. Um, so let's take a look at that. So I have, I'm using an Audio 4 Plus right now for recording, but we're going to look at our Audio 4C, which we're going to connect to these softwares. Um, so the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure it's up to date. Uh, right now it's 1.0.2 if you're running an uh, Audio 4C. And for the Audio 4 Plus, you're looking at 2.0.5, depending on which one. The setup's going to be exactly the same. Uh, if you look in the audio page, the setup looks exactly the same in these two devices. So... Let's take a look at that. We're just going to look at the audio side of things today. Uh, MIDI side we can look at another time, but today we're just going to look at setting up the audio. So I'm going to click on audio here. And we have my audio 4C. I'm just going to take a look at the back. And we need to find out which USB we are plugged into. So I'm going to use the desktop versions of both these softwares. But as many people know, they also have apps on iOS. So uh, this is still the same setup, same idea, what you want to do. So if you're on the Audio 4C, the USB number is going to be right above the physical USB-C ports on the back. Um, I know that I'm using USB 1 currently attached to this computer, and USB 2 is connected to my iOS device. So if you're using the Audio 4 Plus, you'll likely find your USB number under the physical port under the USB B ports. So just uh, be aware of which USB port that you're connected to uh, and which device you're trying to set up. So in my case, like I said, it's USB one. So we're gonna go over to this mode section over here on the top right. I'm gonna select play USB one. And so it hasn't done anything yet. So if I went to play it now, you would hear absolutely nothing. So we need to get some levels. So the first thing we wanna do for levels is we wanna get our outputs up. So we have, uh, if you look in the analog output section in the top right here, we have analog one and two, which are the one and two outputs on the back, the quarter inch outputs. Then we have analog three, four, which are the quarter inch outputs for three and four. And then our headphones, which can also be used as five and six, um, which often we'll click on the stereo button here and we'll split it into two separate outputs. A lot of people like to send click and or clue uh, cues on those. So that's what we're gonna do. So now, now that we've had these ones, it seems like many people would think that it should work from just having these up, but we need to tell these outputs what we want in it. Uh, the Audio 4C and the Audio 4 Plus and many iConnectivity devices have multiple device jacks and multiple inputs. So we have to figure out what do we want in these outputs. So all these outputs on the top here correspond to a mixer down here. So if I look at analog one, two, and I want to figure out what's going to be in this output, we're going to click on the analog one, two mix. So as we click that, you can see all these faders open on the bottom. And now we get the side, how much of each of these sources we want in it. So when you click on USB uh, play USB one, you're going to see that most of these on the bottom are USB one uh, associated, except for the very last one you can join in a one two from the USB two option. But most of them are one USB one. If you were on USB two, this would look mostly like USB two options with a USB one added at the end. Um, so that's the difference between the two. That's why you want to select the USB that you're mostly playing out of so that you can get more channels from that USB port. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on USB one mix here and by default we have the right setup. So we're going to click on is USB one is going to have channels one and two in the one and two outputs. Now, if you want to have these um, separated in your software, you can click the stereo button and see it splits into two tracks. Now these would technically be both be uh, double mono now. Um, so what you want to do is to get the USB one, channel one on the left or going out analog one and getting USB channel two to go out analog two, you just want to pan them. So you, the channel one is going to go all the way to the left, negative 127 and channel two, you go all the way to the right, 20, 127. Um, so hopefully that helps you out. 
in my case, I want to keep stereo tracks for the first uh, two sets. I'm going to do uh, channel 1 and 2 as the stereo set, channel 3 and 4 as the stereo chat, and I'm going to do 5 and 6. Uh, I like to follow what I'm doing in the analog outputs there. So analog 5 and 6 are going to be separate outputs. So we have the analog 1, 2 mixed up. We don't need any of these extra bits right here. Um, if you had a second device connected, say you say this was your iPad and you had main stage also connected on a second computer, you could bring up a stereo out from the from the other computer as well if you wish to do so, but we'll leave it like that. Then we're gonna go to analog three and four. So this is gonna deal with the three, four mix. So you can see by default, USB one, three and four. So we already have this set up. Um, the default settings are pretty good here. Then we're gonna go to our headphone mix. And this is the only one that we're gonna make a little bit of change to. So in the headphone mix, I'm gonna split the USB one channel five, six from stereo to mono and then I'm gonna pan them as well. So that way I can get click and guide separate if I so choose. So that's all we have to do for setup. Um, if you had inputs, you could also bring these guys up, but uh, to bring into whatever DAW or anything you're using on your computer, but we don't need that for now. So that is all done. So if you bring over a software, uh, I'm gonna bring over Prime uh, from Luke Community right now. And then, so what we wanna do in this software is we would want to go to devices make sure we're selecting the device so i'm going to use the 4c for this we'll go to outputs and then you can select what outputs you want things to go to so maybe you want drum and bass on 3 4 uh, with the effects on 3 4 and then all your electric your pads your synths i'll be on one two and click will be on five and oh sorry there you go so cues will be on five click will be on six so that's kind of a classic setup. So when I play this, you can kind of see everything going separately. So there's your click. Your guide will be here. When we go to another section, you would see the guide. Um, we'll see it coming up very soon here. There you go. And then you have your stereo tracks. So that works there. And then the same is true for playback. I'm gonna go out of this. I'm not sure playback will let me choose the audio 4C while I'm doing screen recording. Uh, it'll let me run through it. So uh, if you go to general, so you wanna go up to this three dot option here. We're gonna click on settings. We're gonna be on the general tab and we want to select our audio device, which is the audio 4C of course. And then you want to go to your buses. So you can select, uh, if I want to do the same kind of thing, I can do drums. Oops, I always forget to hit done. So select three, four, go to done. Loops, three, four, go to done. Bass, three, four. Often loops are drum loops, and I, in this song I know it was. So, uh, And then you can select guide uh, five, six, or five and six, but I'm just gonna do five, six for this one. And then we can go out of that. So that's all set up. We can play through there. I don't think it'll come through because screen recording disables the audio. Um, so, but that's how you would do it. It's the exact same kind of option. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, you, you can play with your levels as you need in the song. Obviously I don't have much happening in this one right now. Uh, but you can modify your levels as you need, and you can modify your overall bus levels, which normally you leave pretty uniform. But if you have any questions about setting this up, hopefully this makes sense. Uh, using the play options is definitely the easiest way to get this set up. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Thank